Hello, good evening, and welcome to this instructional video on wiring a Sennheiser G3 radio mic system to ASA1 antenna splitters. I will here just call them antenna splitters from now on. To have a quick look, sorry for the shadows and stuff, the ASA1 will it'll allow it to run off two antennas. It'll also power the units through the BNC cables. The power can go in to the radio unit via the A or B antenna in, but on the splitter itself, it only puts out power on the A side. So what I've done here is all the A outs here are going to antenna one, giving it signal and power. And all the A outs here are going to antenna two on this side. So this will be the A antenna splitter and this will be the B antenna splitter. So I had to do it this way first to give it power. You also cross patch with a small BNC cable that comes with the boosters. It's just a uh, 250 mil uh, in length BNC 50 ohm cable. You can buy them in any good shop. Uh, Maplins, Radionics, those kind of places. Uh, Radio Shack if you're watching from the United States. So there's an RF out on this. These systems uh, can be used as a four way or an eight way. We're gonna use them in eight way mode. So basically we're monoing it in sound terms. So this unit on the right will just be the A antenna and this unit on my left will be just the B antenna. So by connecting the RF out A, we are going to stick that into antenna B where the, if it was a four-way system, where the B antenna would go. And that's on the top here as well. So now this is giving the B side to all the units that's going to be connected to it and it's giving the A side. So the reason I've had to do it this way is again to remind you that the power only comes out of A, A1, 2, 3 and 4 on both units. So to continue on, we now have the B side, but this is, forget the B's now and A's and B's because this unit is all A and this unit is all B by cross patching our small cable. Again, from RF out A to into antenna or F in B, as it says on the units. So, they all have power now, and they're all going to the right distributor. So, so to continue on, I'm going to take B1 on this unit. Now again, this is technically A5. So we're going to go to the A side on the first unit up here. Now it doesn't really matter if you wire them uh, crossways as in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I have them wired at the moment one, three, five, seven, two, four, six, eight. That doesn't really matter which way you can do it. You can do it either way. Uh, just in this case for cable tidiness, I'm keeping all the cables on the left here, and then all these cables will be nice and neat on this side. So you just continue on. Uh, I'll just do another one before I sign off. I'll do it on the other splitter, just so you can see. So we're going to take B1, which is now B5, and going to the B side of our first unit. So as you can see, just a quick reminder, A1 to 4 is going to 1, 3, 5 and 7. B1 to 4 is going to 2, 4, 6, 8, but on, this, on the antenna 2 output, and again this is going to the antenna 1 output, just as a reminder, and then we cross, we cross patch then. So again, the system on my right is all the A's, system on my left is all the B's. So good luck with that. It's in the manual. It's a bit complicated in the manual uh, if you haven't done it before. So I hope this helps. Thanks. Bye-bye.